It was a battle between NSIC North heavyweights on Saturday as the 21st ranked BSU football team traveled to Duluth to take on the 24th ranked UMD Bulldogs. UMD had won 14 straight against BSU heading into Saturday and 24 out of 25 against them at home. But the Beavs looked to change that over the weekend. Pick things up in the second half. Bulldogs leading by 17. UMD's Blake Bofferding takes the handoff and turns on the Jets 22 yards for the score. UMD goes up by 24. But then the Beavers started to chip away. Jordan Hine connects with Blake Holder here for the 60-yard TD as Holder hurdles the defender and finds the end zone. Then Brady Schmidt splits the safeties. Hine finds him in the middle of the field for the 90-yard pitch and catch for the score. And folks, we have a ball game as BSU pulls within 15. Next drive for the Beavs. Hine hits Dexter Taylor Jr. over the top of the defense. Another big touchdown, 60 yards on this one as BSU pulls within eight. And then under a minute to go, BSU back down 14. The Hein schmidt connection working again, this time from 44 yards as the lead gets cut to seven. But the ensuing onside kick would go out of bounds as UMD would take over. Bauer takes the knee to run out the clock. And UMD wins 54-47. Jordan Hein has 434 yards passing. They were resilient. We just didn't make enough plays when it really boils down to. First half, we didn't play very well, any three phase, and then we really played extremely hard. Just uh, just didn't make plays when it really counted in certain aspects of the game. Just like any week, we put ourselves in position to win a game, which we did at the end of the game, and now we got to bounce back and get ready and be 1-0 next week. We just have to play better. we got to you know, catch, throw, tackle, all those things. And that's really what it comes down to. It's a really basic game when you really think about it, and that's what we have to get back to doing. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.